Hi guys, welcome to my new series I'm posting every week on my channel called My Inspiration. I'm basically going to be giving you guys ideas and inspiration for your Minecraft world, from retexturing to building to anything in between. So since so many of you wanted to know how I retexture and switch textures within texture packs, I thought I would make a video about that. So let's get started. So sometimes I like to use different textures from texture packs and for this tutorial I'm going to be using a Jollycraft. And in Jollycraft I don't really like the glowstone texture or the wool texture. So I'm going to be switching it around with the Summerfields texture pack. And in the Summerfields texture pack, I love the texture of the glowstone and the wool. So now I'm going to show you how to take out the textures and place them into a texture pack you like to use. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your start button and then once you're there, you're going to type in percent app data percent. That's going to bring up your roaming file, so you're going to click on that. Then it's going to bring you to this file where you're going to click on your Minecraft folder. And then from there, you're gonna click on your resource, resource pack folder. <laughs> and then you're gonna simply uh, click on the texture pack you wish to take textures out of. So in this case, I'm gonna choose a summer fields. Then go to your assets folder, your Minecraft folder, then click on the texture folder. Now this folder contains all the different textures that are in this texture pack. So since I wanna take out a block, I'm gonna go to the block folder. And then just simply find the texture that you wanna take out. So I'm going to take out the glowstone. So I'm gonna look for that. And then once I find it, I'm gonna click on it and then drag and drop it onto my desktop. And just like that. So now I want to put this texture into the texture pack that I wish to use for my world. <laughs> so we're gonna click back. I'm gonna go back to the resource pack folder. So there's a resource pack folder, you're going to click on that, and then I'm going to use the Sunny Jolly Craft. So I'm going to double click on that, and it's going to be the same process, I'm going to click on the textures folder, then I'm going to click on the block folder, then I'm just going to drag and drop the texture into that folder. So here is the texture block folder. Then I'm going to just simply look to see if the glowstone is named the same as my um, texture. And it is. They're both glowstones. So I'm going to drag and drop it. And then this window is going to come up and you're just going to press copy replace. And then once that's done, you could click out of this uh, window and then start up your Minecraft. So as you can see, the glowstone is now switched, but I want to give you guys some more examples of how I switch textures. So we're going to go and uh, go into switching the wool, since I did like how the Summerfields wool was instead of the Jollycraft wool. So we're going to do the same thing, the same process. I'm going to go into my roaming, click on my Minecraft folder, go into my resource packs. And then click on the summer fields and again click on the block textures so um, once I click on that I am gonna go down and look for all the wool textures and here are all the wool textures so I'm gonna highlight all of these and then click and drag and drop these onto my desktop. And there they all are. So now again, I am gonna go into the texture pack that um, I'm gonna be using, which is the Jolly Craft. And again, it's gonna be the same process. And 
And um, here is the block texture folder. And now I'm gonna highlight all of the wool textures. So here are all of the wool for the Jollycraft. Now I'm gonna highlight all of these and a drag and drop them. And then this window is gonna come up. I'm gonna press copy replace for all of them. And that's it. Now I'm just gonna click out of this window and then again, start up my Minecraft. So now all the summer field textures are in the Jolly Craft texture pack that I'm going to be using. But now I'm going to show you a third example if you have your own texture. So I'm going to switch the oak wood planks that you see behind me on my house. So here I have a teal wood texture that I'm going to be replacing with the oak wood texture in Jolly Craft. Now I am going to follow the same process, go to my roaming, go to my Minecraft, go to resource packs. Um, and just so you know, I am in version 7.2, I believe. And I will be writing all the directions for each version in the description bar. So depending on which version you're using, there are different names for different textures and texture pack folders. So um, you guys could take a look and follow the directions. So here is the block texture folder and I'm just gonna go down and look for the oak texture. Now these are for the logs. So what we're gonna need are the planks. So, oh, here's the planks. So we're gonna go down and look for the oak. So um, this says planks oak. Now I'm gonna rename this texture planks oak so that it matches. And then once I am done naming this, I am just gonna drag and drop this texture into the texture pack folder and copy replace and that's it now I'm going to click out of this and start up my minecraft world and that is how I simply switch out and replace textures in my minecraft world so now I want you guys to try this out on your own in the description bar, I have provided some downloadable textures that I made on my own for you guys to try out in your Minecraft worlds. I made pink, orange, yellow, blue, and purple wood textures that you can use to replace in your Minecraft texture packs. If you do use this tutorial to replace your wood textures, please send me a screenshot so that I can put you in next week's Mindspiration video. And if there's anything you would like to learn for next week's video, from building, to house ideas, to living room ideas, to decorations, to anything at all, please leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next week. Bye!